Well, hello, my loves. Kim here, and I am back with a brand new series called Let's Build Del Sol Valley. I am super excited to be doing this because this is going to kick off a trio of series on my channel involving the Get Famous Pack. If this is your first time seeing my face on the internet, I just want to say welcome. Hi, my name is Kim. I go by Simply Nisi here on YouTube as well as in the Simi community. And I am so excited to get into this because I've been wanting to do a new LP months ago i posted on my community tab on youtube that i wanted to do a new series and you guys voted that i do a drama based series in del sol valley so here we are the reason why i'm rebuilding del sol is because one i started out in the community as a builder like building has my heart i really really love the process of it doing all the little details and seeing it come together in the end and being able to share that with people on the gallery love that but also a more simple and direct answer, I really didn't like the world that we got. I mean, I don't wanna sound harsh, no shade. I understand there are a lot of restrictions when it comes to these things, but I didn't really jive with any of the default builds. And I like to play a little bit more realistically and I want my sim to really feel immersed in the world that they're in. So I just felt like rebuilding Del Sol was like an absolute must. So um, with that being said, I want to start in a Mirage Park, which is kind of like the average Joe, average Jane type of sim, being able to actually afford to live in that area. Um, in my head, moving to somewhere like LA or New York requires a lot of money if you're trying to live in luxury um, and if you don't have the extra money to spend you're going to end up in like an apartment complex or like a share house or something a little bit more affordable so that's where I want my sim to start out and slowly work their way up the ladder into the different areas and you know ultimately be able to get famous obviously get rich but uh, just really establish themselves as whoever they want to be in the world so yeah, that's what we're starting off at. I am starting with the 50 by 40 lot and I plan to do an apartment complex. Um, shameless plug, I've done an apartment complex on this lot before. Be sure to check out that speed bill. I'll have a car on the screen so you guys can check that out for yourselves. But it's one of my most downloaded lots from the gallery. So thank you all so much for downloading. Um, check that out. But anyway, back to the series. I want to do an apartment complex there. It's gonna be different from the last one. Um, and I want it to feel more like LA so I pulled up these reference pictures and they're beautiful I really really love them and I am just really ready to get my hands on my mouse so I can get this build going so I'm yammering let me stop yapping without further ado let's go ahead and switch over to the build so um main things i want to establish a proper parking lot i want to have multiple apartment buildings and i also want to have different walkways i just feel like that feels really realistic and i really want to highlight the greenery um i definitely want to throw in maybe like some palm trees or something that's kind of native to this area a lot of times when i build i look at the houses around for my landscaping that's like a good guide that i like to go by um so yeah with that being said i think i kind of want to go with a more hmm modern ish like modern ish but not like state of the art modern if that makes sense and i feel like the first thing i need to do is just maybe start with some um start with some rooms I want the apartments to be low profile, so no higher than two levels. Um, and I want to be able to have a full household of sim as well as invite some roommates. Like, I think that's kind of like the vibe I want to go. I just want there to constantly be people for the main sim to interact with and like network with. But I want everybody or at least mostly everybody working towards fame in some aspect. I feel like that's super realistic, right? okay so obviously these are like little driveways so hmm let's start with a little bit of asphalt and i'm thinking let's see yeah 
we'll maybe go with some gravel and grit or do I just have some regular asphalt pristine concrete hmm let's see what the pristine concrete looks like yeah I think that'll do for now I'll go ahead and turn these grits off I just kind of want to establish my concrete areas so I'm thinking this will be like for parking and then further back is where we'll actually have the apartment buildings and then from the parking I'm probably gonna like separate it with like some rocks and some shrubbery and then we'll get into the greenery and then I don't know if I want to really work with diagonals. While it looks good, it starts to get kind of funky. So I'll just keep it like straightforward. So for now, maybe we can start like so. And I like the build with the walls up. Like that's just me. I like being able to see everything at once. I know some people like building with the walls down, but for me, I like everything up. And if you see me kind of like looking off camera, I'm referring to the um, reference pictures on my phone. So, okay, so yeah, I kind of want kind of like a blocky aesthetic. I just feel like that just keeps things simple and it's a nice kind of contrast. Okay. And then I think for the wall height, we'll probably do mid height. That might change. I might put it on um, the default height, but I'm thinking mid would be nice. And I want there to be a little bit of a porch area, maybe off the back, maybe not so the front. So let me move this back some. One thing I do like about doing more realistic apartment complexes is like once you got the formation for like one apartment building done, you can just copy the rooms, which I really, really love in The Sims 4. Like it makes building so much faster. But I also know that I'm going to need to decorate for each Sims personalities, which is going to be the challenge, but a fun challenge, you know? So yeah, um, in the comments, I want you guys to let me know how you guys are feeling today. Like, how is your week going? Are you guys um, doing work or are you all in school? Like, do you have plans for the weekend? As I'm recording this, it's in the middle of the week. Um, so... I do have plans, but nothing really too concrete. Um, my fiance and I, we are in the process of looking for a new house. So that has been taking up a lot of both of our leisure time. So it's, it's been a process, you guys. We've been looking for a while. So, you know, we're just trying our best. We're just trying our best to keep on a good face and to not let this whole process really take us out of our element and bring us down um but other than that we are doing pretty okay with it now right now i'm trying to think do i want to do kind of like a townhouse situation with these apartments or do i want to do single level apartments and then it'd be like a bottom floor and a top floor hmm that is that's the that's a good question that is a really good question um I think I'm kind of leaning towards doing a single level and then doing like a bottom floor and a top floor type deal. I don't know. That's just kind of like where my head is right now. Okay, so if that's the case, I need to make the floor plan for this a little bit bigger. Let me go ahead and get me a light. You know what? No, I think I want to do townhouses here because I do plan on doing another type of community living space a little bit later on. And I feel like that one might be a bit more um, compressed on one level. So I wanna do townhomes here. So yeah, I think that's going to be the plan. With that being said, let me go ahead and pick out just a door, random door. And I have a random sim here. That is not the sim that will be a part of the series. I just need a sim on site to playtest these things. 
And let's go ahead, first things first, whenever I'm working with more than one level, I like to establish how my stairs are going to go. Now this space is a little bit tight. I like the option to do the different stair configurations, but trying to be conscious of the space, I might just do like a single straight up situation. Yeah. Yeah, I think I might just do that and then maybe like the kitchen around the back of the stairs. Looking at how tall it is, it looks kind of awkward. Yeah, I think that might be... Well, what if I still kind of like snake it around? Hmm. Let me bring the height back up. No, that's that's too much. Oh yeah, that's too much. Okay, so I will keep it like that. Let me throw a railing on here. Safety first. <laughs> um, random railing. Yeah, I'm just putting some things in place and then I'll like fine tune it a little bit later on. Okay. And then for the entryway, I kind of want to off-center it. I might get one of those doors that are technically two tiles, but it looks like one. But we'll see. All of that is up for discussion. I'll just grab one and place it there for now. Okay, so this can kind of be like my foyer. Let me grab a short wall. Or no, we can get a small fence. And this is kind of like entry point. Okay. And I'm thinking here is like where you would come in, maybe like take your shoes off, transition from the indoors and outdoors. I kind of like that first area to be, um, I like that first area to kind of like have a different flooring than the rest of the home because it is kind of like that trans transitional area. <laughs> um, I personally don't like wearing shoes in my house. Um, and although all of my floor is the same, I like having that designated space to take off my shoes before I walk into the house. Let me know if you guys wear shoes inside of your house. If you do, no judgment here. Do you? I'm not paying your bills. Um, it's just for me personally, I've grown to not like having shoes in the house so that's just me okay so if this is the foyer area and then the area leading upstairs i need to establish my living and dining space um this place is tiny but places like la you know they're not really the biggest spaces in the world so yeah um i think this might be my kitchen space yeah, that's going to have to be the kitchen. And then I feel like there's really no room for dining. So I might push this back a bit. Trying to think of how everything is going to function before I commit. Yeah, and maybe if I did half of this as the kitchen. And then I can maybe open this up as kind of like a transitional space to go outside out back maybe and then dining and living room or maybe I could just bring that out a bit yeah that feels a little better that feels a little better I don't know, I'm gonna have to have a think about that. Okay, let me go ahead and pull this out some. It's just looking kind of squatty. It really is, but hmm, I don't know. Let me think about this and I'm gonna come right back. All right, you guys, so I'm back. So I think I want my sim to kind of like enter from the side of the build. I want to go ahead and just plop down a walkway just so I can get a clear idea of how the sim is even going to get into their apartment. Okay, so if the walkway is like too wide. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. 
yeah i think i want the walkway to be too wide and then i also think that i am going to have two floors but the apartment is going to be on one floor and then there'll be an upstairs neighbor i feel like that will be a better flow i try it this way and it's not doing what i want it to do it's not giving you know what i mean <laughs> so um i'm going to go ahead and change that up have my stairs here and then have the next apartment right next to it yeah and then those stairs will lead upstairs to this apartment it's coming together it's coming yeah i think i like this a little bit better and then we can have that door there maybe not that exact door but we can have a door there um and then kind of like more of a formal entry where it's kind of like backed a little bit yeah i think i like that better this is this is giving me a little bit more of what I needed. And I think now what I need is a piece of flooring to extend that stairwell back just a little bit. Yes. Okay, that's that's giving what I needed. <laughs> I feel like I can breathe now. Like I feel like there's so much more room and this is doing what it's supposed to do. This is giving what it's supposed to give okay i hope you guys are okay with this because i am feeling a lot better about it let me go back downstairs grab my sample door and i hope you guys can hear me so i live very close to an airport um so i put a filter on my microphone to help cancel out noise and i hope it's just not chopping me up really bad um i'll know when i listen back to this video but um what will also help me if you guys can comment on the sound quality so i know if i need to make more adjustments because it might sound fine to me and it might sound like trash to you guys so let me know let me know okay so this is giving Okay, scoosh this on back. Okay, I feel better about that. So now my Sims kind of have more of like a secluded entryway into their house. I like this. I like this. Okay, so with that being said, I'm going to have to expand the apartment out width-wise, which is perfectly fine. Okay, so this becomes kind of like the new foyer area where you come in, take off your shoes, blah, blah, blah. And then I'm thinking maybe like a closet, like a, like a um, coat closet. <laughs> That's the word. Coat closet here. I love using the perfect size closets from, um, what pack is that? Get Together. So that's going to work there. And then on the other side of that, I think I want kind of like a half bath. So guests can kind of use it. Okay, so that's a better flow. Then we come into kind of like a, a living room area. Or maybe this first area can be dining dining and then living room and then maybe off the living room bedroom and then maybe off the bedroom could be an ensuite and then the kitchen off of the dining that's what I'm thinking living room doesn't have to be that big Okay, dining, kitchen, or maybe the kitchen can be on the other side of the closet. Yeah, and then the ensuite can be here. Or something like that.
And then where would the half bath be? That is the question. I guess the half bath can maybe be here just so I can kind of keep all of the plumbing in one area. I think I'm kind of filling this layout. I think I'm definitely filling the layout. Okay, so entryway, dining, living, bedroom, ensuite, half bath, and kitchen. And I feel like this is really luxurious if you have a one bedroom apartment and you have a half bath, like chef's kiss, right? <laughs> I don't know I might end up eliminating the half bath we'll just have to see like logistically how everything works like if I need more space to, for the kitchen the half bath obviously is going to be sacrificed um, and I will probably make that into more of a full bath you know what I think that's what I'm gonna do so it's gonna be a full bath which can be accessed from the main or the only bedroom because these are gonna be one bedroom apartments and then we'll just expand the kitchen. I feel like that's a bit more realistic. Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of feeling this. I'm kind of feeling this. We're gonna finesse it. We'll work it out. We'll fix it. But for now, I think that's okay. So what I'm going to do, I kind of want to go in with maybe like some sample furniture just to see spatially wise if that's going to work out. So the main thing, the bedroom, you need a bed. So we are going to get a double bed and plop that on in there. Oh, let me add some money. Perfect. Okay, so let me go ahead and plop in a bed. Doesn't matter which one. Just trying to get the spacing right. So I think the bedroom is a decent size. Either way you put the bed, I mean, you're going to have enough space. I mean, these aren't meant to be huge. They're just meant for you to do what you need to do in there. And then it needs to be open concept because otherwise you're going to feel like you're in a shoebox. I don't know if I like the placement of the bathroom. Let's see. If I could change the bathroom, I might put it on the other side of here. And then reconfigure that. And all of this space could be kitchen. Mmm, maybe. maybe or maybe like our shoe closet or whatever coat closet could be here and then uh oh wrong thing so if our coat closet is moved to the other side of the door we can expand the kitchen this way or expand the bathroom this way and then the kitchen feels a little bit more connected. Hmm. What if I made this into the bedroom space? How wide is that? That's four wide. So yeah, what if I made this into bedroom? Move the bed. And then open that up. So the kitchen, dining, and living can be a bit more connected. I feel like that might end up working out a little bit better. Yeah, I'm thinking so. So maybe this can be kind of like the dining area. Or no, maybe that would be the... Maybe the kitchen would be... Okay, so I'm thinking kitchen would be here on this far wall towards the front kitchen and then like the living room space and then dining here and then we can have the door for the porch to be here 
Not sure how practical this door is, but we'll just plop it here. Just for reference. I mean, it's, it's giving something. Not sure what it's giving quite yet, but it's giving something. So bathroom, bedroom. Let me see how this looks as a whole. I mean, to me, the apartment looks kind of spacious. Let me go ahead and put in some um, placeholder items and see how we go. So we're gonna need a stove. We're gonna need a fridge. Gonna need a counter or two. Um, and then I wanna make sure that I could put in some kitchen appliances, maybe like a microwave or a coffee maker. I feel like those are kind of like common ones. Um, we're also going to need a vent hood. Kitchen sink. And then we'll figure out stuff like windows a bit later on. So if the kitchen is on this back wall. Let's see. We can probably put the fridge in a corner. And then maybe the sink here. Maybe fridge not all the way in the corner. Yeah, so maybe if we put the fridge in the middle, sink, get my grids on sink there and then stove on this wall here so a tip for kitchen design I am by no means like a super expert or anything but I do watch a lot of design shows in the kitchen like the ideal like the ideal um, type of layout is to create kind of like a triangle between the fridge the sink and the stove for like maximum efficiency they also kind of use like <laughs> tangent they also kind of use like that triangle formation in like basketball and i am not a sports person at all but i know i've seen like a couple of documentaries where they kind of mentioned that whole triangle formation to you know just make sure you have multiple people to like pass the ball to don't quote me but I heard something like that so I want to kind of like implement that idea in the kitchen because I know it's a real thing <laughs> fact check that google it don't take my word for it do your own research and all that jazz but it makes sense <laughs> it definitely makes sense okay so if I have my stove here and then my sink here I kind of want to have like a island deal so maybe you can have a place to eat your breakfast or whatever like a little breakfast bar yeah I think that's cute um yeah the kitchen is like becoming massive though and I don't have that much space but maybe if I made this living room and like that dining room space then it could work or maybe I won't have an official dining Oh gosh, you guys, like layout, layout, layout. Um, okay, what if we move the kitchen back one more? Because I really do want to have the breakfast bar and I want like this space to feel kind of nice, just not super luxurious. Yeah. And then this could be our living room space instead of it being our dining space and then our dining space be here i'm feeling that feeling that for now uh let me throw some bar stools in here right now i'm just trying to get spacing right okay So that feels nice. Yeah, that feels nice and I could put a dishwasher here. Or maybe I'll put a dishwasher here on the corner. 
No, maybe here. Cause I want to be able to like, oh, well, if I put the dishwashing there. Hmm. Okay. Okay, I'm thinking like that, and then we'll add a couple more counters here. I think this is a decent kitchen, and I would put like a half wall there to kind of like camouflage that weird gap. But I mean, I'm kind of liking where this is going. I'm kind of liking that. Obviously, I'm going to pick better things. But as far as our appliances, maybe like microwave could go there. Coffee maker would go maybe like next to the sink. Dishwasher underneath. We'll just throw one in there. I'm liking this. I'm, I'm liking this. And then maybe I have one counter too many in the kitchen. So maybe if I can cap off the kitchen here. And then all of this can be living room, which is a pretty big space. I think it's a pretty big space. Let me go ahead and throw in a dining table. Nothing too big. I mean, again, this is for a single sim. They're not going to have like 12 people over all the time. But even with that, I think that's a good kind of like balance if I just have like four chairs here. Yeah, I mean, in some of the sims, they won't have like a designated like dining table like probably some of them would eat at the breakfast bar because they're like constantly on the go okay let me find a inside door pop it here so yeah that could be the doorway to the bedroom and grab a couple more lights And then I'm thinking maybe here is where I would have the closet. Yeah, we'll have a walk-in closet there. And then this is enough room to kind of have those two side tables. Or if I wanted to do the bed like this, we'll still have enough room to get around, maybe put in a dresser have side tables and maybe even like a skill building object so i'm i'm liking this flow feng shui you guys feng shui it's a thing okay and then we'll have our door to our bathroom there let me pop in some plumbing just to make sure i'm on track with that so i don't think we have enough space to do a standalone shower so we are going to do a combo tub shower let me throw in a toilet and then a sink can go here in this corner and we'll just pop that in here for now yeah this could work or alternatively, I can do it like that. I mean, I like that too. Okay, I mean, I'm filling this. Let me pop in some living room furniture just to make sure it'll work, but I'm more than confident that we have enough space. Um, let me throw in a three-seater couch. Oh yeah, that's a lot of space. Plenty, plenty of space. So if I was to have a couch there, I can throw like a wall mounted TV up. Oh yeah, oh yeah, that's nice. <laughs> that's a Family Guy reference if you guys watch. I have not watched Family Guy in years, but when I was a teenager, I used to watch Family Guy all of the time, all of the time. Okay, um, maybe I'll just pop in another two seater. You know just for space I don't think um, apartments like these would have a fireplace if anything it'll probably be like central heating in there so I'll throw in a thermostat 
just to make sure we're all good with that but yeah i'm feeling the flow i'm feeling the flow um next thing window so let me go ahead and add some windows here i'm trying to be cognizant of the houses next door because as you're walking up the alleyway like you don't want to be able to have someone see into your house so i might put windows in places like here places that don't directly face it to somebody else's house um so let me find a good window and i'll be right back Okay, so I do like this window from the Get Famous pack. I feel like it's going to work, especially like in this bedroom here. Yeah, that's nice. It might be up a little high. But I do like that. Now, unfortunately, I don't think the bathroom is going to have a window. I mean, if I do that layout, if I do the first one I had, I can squeeze in a baby window. Just to add a little bit of light in there. I'll do some play testing as well just to make sure everything works. But this layout kind of feels a little choppy to me, but it does allow me to put in a window here in between the tub and the sink. If I do the other layout, it flows a little bit better, but I won't be able to put in a window. So just kind of like pros and cons to that. Um, as far as a window in the foyer, yeah, why not? Add a little bit of light you know as as much as I can to kind of open up this space I'm here for um, I think the living room is okay for no window since we would have like a sliding door I'm not sure if I'm gonna go with this one but I do want like a big sliding door um, and then I'll have like a little patio area out front which is kind of weird to say but kind of is what it is you know this place is a little bit unconventional um <laughs> so we're gonna work that out let me go ahead and pop in another get famous window here in the kitchen um not the most coziest of places for it maybe if i move the fridge but i feel like all of the fridges are going to open from the right or open from the left going to the right so that might be kind of awkward it's like, yeah, I could put the fridge there. Uh, it's okay. It's okay. It'll work. It'll work. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I definitely want to have a window in the kitchen. Need that. Okay. I feel like we have our layout. So the only thing to do is to repeat the process on the other side, but mirror it. So that's what I'm going to do now. Okay, so it looks like I have the layout pretty much settled for this um, apartment complex, which is really, really nice. Um, I don't like how that looks, so maybe I'll go ahead and close that and then maybe add a bit of an archway. Or you know what, maybe I will add a spandrel not sure I'm trying to like work this out in my head but it's better if I just do a little bit of a trial now wouldn't that be better okay yeah no I don't like that yeah we'll just keep it like that Okay, so let me go ahead and copy these layouts upstairs. And I did like that fence. So maybe I'll put this fencing out here. Maybe expand that out just a little bit. Yeah, I mean, I think that's a huge patio space. I mean, I will be happy with that. I will totally be happy with that. Okay. Let's go ahead and copy everything upstairs.
this is why I love The Sims 4 and why it's the superior building mode um, out of the games, like simply for copying. Um, and it, it's taken them a while to get to this status. I mean, I'm so happy that we have the pawn tool. Even if we can't swim in it, it's nice to be able to create more organic pieces of um, water, bodies of water. Um, so that's always nice. And then I'll add a little bit of a covering here. Very nice, very nice. And then on here, it's going to connect to the other side. Okay. And then we'll do the same thing, copying what was downstairs, upstairs, and bringing everything together. I'm really glad that I started out with the apartments because this is, um, as far as like the decorating, it's going to be a little bit difficult kind of channeling all of the different personalities that I'm thinking would live here. Um, just simply building it is going to be easier because it's literally copying and pasting once I have like a good layout down pat, if that makes sense. Yeah, I mean, I think this is a good start. Okay, so I need to bridge those two pathways here. Nice. Yeah, and then I'll put a little fence here. Yeah, I'm feeling the visual. Oh yeah, that is giving. It's giving, yes. And like already, I already have four apartment units. So that's chef's kiss. I can't complain about that. Um, let's go ahead and bring this out because if it's raining, your sim is going to get soaked. I like that. It's doing something for me. Here for that. And then we'll go ahead and copy that porch upstairs. Yeah, that's that's doing it for me. It's giving. It's giving. I feel so much better than when I first started. Like, you guys don't even know. Like, at first, like, I felt like, I don't know, it felt kind of like a tightness. Like, I felt like you couldn't, like, really move around and breathe. And now it just feels... It feels spacious. It, it feels a little lux. I mean, maybe I'm just pushing that a little bit too far. <laughs> maybe I'm hyping myself up a little bit too much. But I like the way that it's going. It's giving. It's giving me up and coming. Um, I was going to say Hollywood. <laughs> Del Sol um, Starlet. That's what it's giving me. Up and coming Del Sol Starlet. For sure. Um, oh, that's a little off center. Do I like it centered? actually kind of like it a little bit better off center and this door is what I'm referring to yeah I like that a little bit better off center yeah it's doing it for me okay um with that being said let me go ahead and add a little bit of covering here on the porch area don't want your sims to be cooking in the sun Yeah, I like that. Duplicate it over there. And then I suppose we can add a couple of columns out here. These are placeholder columns. I might change them. I might not. But right now, I'm just trying to get like the mood going. I'm trying to get the vibes. But I like that. Let me know what you guys think. I like that. I feel like this is like a nice like starting point definitely starting point but I like that it's giving me the vibes low profile I don't really feel like it's fighting the existing neighborhood which is nice um yeah that will go there and there and I'm still fighting if I want to add hmm I don't know if I want to add a back porch off of the bedroom. Still thinking about that because that might drive up the price point a little bit, if you know what I mean. But for now, that's giving me something. I'm thinking, 
because I was having issues with that. I'm thinking about maybe using those windows from Jungle Adventure. Where are they? Kind of like the ones with like the holes where you could see through it. I feel like that'll definitely give me kind of like mid-century vibes also. Yeah, these. I kind of like that. I don't know, it just adds a little bit of texture. Like you still have that wall of privacy, but I don't know. Let me look at it from the front. It's giving me something. I don't know what it's giving. I don't even know if I'm gonna keep it, but it's giving me something. I don't know. Also, I don't even know, cause I want to have at least a two, at least, I wanna have at least two apartment buildings. I might just flip this whole thing. Oh no, let me just, no, we are not bulldozing this lot. Um, Let me just move the house and see. So if I do it like this, ooh, I do like it to the side. I like it to the side. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think, but I do like this house kind of like side facing or this apartment. Yeah, it's the vibe. Okay, so this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to hop off camera real quick and then I'm going to copy this a couple of times and then we'll be back and we will see how it looks together and decide from there if this is a vibe or nah. Okay, so I made a second building and it's giving you guys, it's giving. Now, I don't know if I need to make another apartment building, maybe like in the back. You guys let me know, but I definitely know like in the middle, I want to maybe have like a pool or maybe kind of like an outdoor seating area, maybe a couple of outdoor barbecues. I don't know. I'm just thinking of kind of like some common community things in an apartment complex, but I definitely want to have like trees so i want to go in the debug menu and i know this video is kind of coming up on maybe like an hour at this point but i'm gonna edit some things down so don't you all worry um but i want to hop into the debug menu and i know in the base game there's kind of like these little rounded um kind of like grassy things that came with oasis springs yeah i like this so maybe like that in the center i'm thinking something like that and can i get some palm trees please palm trees please thanks <laughs> um maybe plop that in the middle maybe not this one this is giving me sulani but i'm kind of here for it kind of here for it yeah yeah doesn't that look nice that looks nice, right? So I'm gonna have my parking lot here, like I said. I'm going to add some more rocks and shrubs and things just to really make this build feel like it's actually in the ground and not plopped on top. I do feel like I maybe need to add a bit of a roof. So I'm thinking, let me see. So I see a lot of gabled roofs in the area. Um, don't really see hipped roofs like that. So I think I might go with Gable just to kind of make it fit in. Um, and I might go slightly Mediterranean. I don't know. I'm just looking at the background and like trying to determine what's actually going to work. Um, so do I want to go that way or do I want to go this way? I think I want to go this way. And, you know, we can change it. We're not married to any of this, but I'm definitely loving it so far. So maybe if I do like that. And maybe pull her on out. That's a good looking roof so far. Good looking roof. <laughs> um... But yeah, let me know, um, you guys, if you all think I should do other things off camera, maybe things like picking out wall colors in the bathrooms off camera, 
Right now, I'm more inclined to do it off camera only because I know those things can be kind of tedious and um, repetitious and might not be the most exciting thing for everyone to look at. But if you are here for that sort of a thing, let me know and I will include it. Um, I'm here to make sure everyone is happy um, with how this series is going. So definitely let me know what you guys prefer with that. Okay, I'm adding a little bit of a lip here. Um, so I can pull that on out to the edge. Okay. All right, let me pull this over some. Oh yeah, I like the way that looks. I like the way that looks. I'm trying to not make it look like um, my previous build. Yeah, I'm here for that. Okay, here for that. Um, The back looks a little plain, so I might do the hipped detail on the other side too. And I'm still deciding if I need to add a um, back patio for the, um, the bedroom, just so your Sims can maybe have like a little bit of a retreat out there. Let me all know, let me all, let me know you guys what you all think about that. But I don't know, slightly here for it. Let me pull this out just a bit. Yeah, I do like that. And maybe we can do a little bit of a porch out there. Oh, it actually kind of looks like the mountains in the background. <laughs> wow. I don't know. I'm going to play around with the roofing off um, off camera a bit, but for now, I'm liking where it's going. And you guys definitely feel free to tell me um, what you think about some of those other things I asked specifically about like picking out wall and floor textures and like doing bathrooms. Is that something you all want me to do on camera or do you prefer that to be off camera? I definitely need to know. Um, because I don't want to show you guys things that you all aren't interested in. So um, your comments on that will put me in a good direction. But I'm really loving the way that it's coming together so far. And I hope you guys like really enjoyed this. Um, this is definitely more of kind of like a behind the scenes me thinking through how stuff is going to function and how it's going to look and you know just trying to gather my thoughts of the um, backdrop of the LP so you guys is like commentary and feedback is definitely really really helpful so feel free to comment down in the comment box um, just be nice um and not only to me be nice to other people you know we're creating a positive environment here please respect other people's um opinions and things like that um but other than that say what you want and just be respectful but yeah um i think i want to go ahead and close out this part here um let me know what you guys think about what we did so far with this small apartment complex let me know if you feel like it's realistic or not let me know if you feel like i have enough space for sims and also let me know if i should do some two bedroom units if i do i might do like one or two off the back but this lot is getting um pretty full pretty quick because i am going to have my parking spots um and just some of those other amenities that sims would do in like that more communal space so yeah let me know other than that i'm going to hop off here if you all made it this far in the video i just want to say thank you all so so much for watching seriously thank you so so much for watching don't forget to like comment and share this video it helps me and the channel out more do you know and your likes let me know if i should continue on with this series which i think i will anyway only because it is kind of like required for me to do the get famous lp but definitely your likes let me know how you guys feel about it um and if you guys enjoy kind of more of a long form building style where you guys can give me more input along the way that will help um feel free to subscribe if you haven't done so already and click that notification bell so you'll be notified for whenever i upload and check out my other builds on the gallery in the meanwhile my origin id is simply dash nisi anyway you guys i am hopping off here and i will talk to you in the next video bye guys